Hello everyone, welcome to my series on A2019 programming and today we are going to discuss FTP operations in A2019. Now in order to achieve this, what I have done is in my local IS INET manager, I have created a sample FTP site which points to D drive my FTP site, that's the local folder. And I have created a task over here called FTP as FTP operations and let me just start by searching for FTP. Now when you search for FTP, you get the complete package of FTP as FTP operations which contains all these commands. Let's start with the basic command of connect. Now when you say connect, the default session that comes is FTP session. Any command or any action that you are going to perform after connect should contain the same session name. This is very important. As long as you are working on this particular uh, connection, this session name should identify that action and relate that action to this connection. Now, server name, since I am working on my local host, I am just giving local host, but ideally this should contain the FTP site name. I am going to use 21 because that's an FTP port. For SFTP, it should be 22. And we need to select FTP over here for 21 port, and for SFTP, you need to select FTP secure. And remaining things are still okay. I'm just going for a anonymous authentication because I don't have, I have not set any user credentials. But in case you do have set credentials on the FTP side, you need to mention them here. So it can come from credential vault or it can go for a variable or insecure string. Okay. So if I just run this bot without any more modifications. And you see that it runs fine without any issues, which means that it's able to connect to the local host FTP location. Now, let's try to put some files in the FTP site. So, in my local A2019 folder, let me just create an Excel document and just copy paste the same document to have multiple Excel files. Now, when I say put files, in my local files, I'll just mention the entire path along with the type of file that I want to upload. So I'll just copy this and paste it here and I'll say star dot xlsx. So which means that all xlsx files will be uploaded. If I want to mention any specific file name, I need to mention the entire file name over here. But in this case, I want to upload all the Excel files and the transfer type, let it be default binary. Now, once we put the files, we need to disconnect the session. So if you see, connect has session name FTP session, put files also has FTP session and disconnect also has FTP session. If you choose to change the session name, then you need to change it here as well. You need to change it here as well. The session name is very important in identifying which command corresponds to which connection. Okay, so if we run the code the way it is, Okay, and now if we go and check the my FTP site, you can see all the files are uploaded to the FTP location. So this is my local folder and this is the FTP folder. Okay, now let's try to bring the files from FTP to local. So I delete the files in my local folder and instead of a put files action, let me just disable this. I will do a get files action and in the remote files I'll mention the path so the root folder is always <coughs> with a slash and inside the root folder I have uploaded all the excel files so star dot xlsx and our local folder is of course a2019 programming and let's run the code and check done. So if we come back to our local folder, all the files have come. The same files which are present in the FTP location. Now let's try some subfolders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the files in the local folder again. And in the FTP side, I'm going to create a folder or a basically a subfolder which says, let's say the name is uh, subfolder1. Inside that I'm going to create one more subfolder two and then I'm going to bring all the Excel files inside the two subfolders. 
So our root location is now empty. It doesn't contain any file. It just contains a subfolder, subfolder 1. Inside that I have a subfolder 2. And then within that I have all the Excel files. Now, how do you bring that? How do you represent the path in the A2019 text box? So instead of writing slash, now I write slash subfolder 1 slash subfolder 2 and then again slash star dot xlsx so the first slash means the root location inside that we have subfolder 1 then inside that we have subfolder 2 and then all the excel files let's run this and check and once again it's completed successfully and I can see that okay so the one thing that I learned just now is uh, this is highly case sensitive so if your FTP site contains files with lowercase the extension is lowercase over here in that case let me just remove this again and okay so in the get files action if I put a uppercase Excel SX save it and let me just change any one of them to uppercase so now the local folder is empty and all the files are in the FTP site on the two subfolders let me go and run the code So now in the local folder, if you go and check, you see that only one file has come that has the uppercase extension. But the FTP site contains other files which have lowercase extensions. So now if I run the same code with a lowercase, I can see that all the files have come to the local folder. So just keep this in mind that when you are doing get files from the FTP site, this is case sensitive. Okay, so let's try to get entire folder instead of just one file or two files. Let's disable this and let me just copy the path from here. So we are trying to get the entire folder from the FTP location to our local location. So I'll just remove the file names. I'll just keep folder one, folder two and the file type is going to contain star.xlsx or maybe I'll just write star.star .star and the local folder will contain let me just clear the local folder and it will contain this path let's run the code close this so now if you go to local folder you see that the subfolder 2 has come and inside the subfolder 2 since we have given star dot star all the file names have come both lowercase and uppercase okay so this is how get folders work let me just disable this and let's try to put some folders on the FTP site so in put folder we have to get the local folder which is D drive A2019 programming and then let's mention subfolder 3 and file types once again is star dot star whatever files are there in the folder all files should get updated now in the local folder we're going to come and rename this folder to subfolder 3 and this should go and sit in the FTP location but it should sit inside subfolder 2 it should not sit at the root location it should sit inside subfolder 2 right here so how to achieve that so when you're doing a put folders as of now the root location the active location is the root location so we need to do a change folder first so we don't go to the parent folder we select specif specific folder and we say subfolder 1 slash subfolder 2 okay and inside this the new folder has to be uploaded let's run the code and see if it works okay 
Now we go to our FTP location and see that under FTP side subfolder 1, subfolder 2, we have subfolder 3 and inside that all the files have come. So this is how we can place folders in the FTP location. Similarly, we have create folder, delete folder and we have rename files. So today we have discussed the different different commands that are present under the FTP SFTP package in A2019. Just try out the commands yourself. They are very simple and straightforward. And if you face any issues, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to post a video for you. Thank you.